Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 133. Day 3133. 3 is to signify the fact that we are in a third edition. Third edition, day 133. We are in the process of solving the problem that you see in the first practice exam that they give you at the very end of the book on page number 356. Today we'll do problem number 11 and only problem number 11. Only one problem, only one problem by itself, nothing else because it's a, it's, a, it's a very important topic and this problem deals with the notion of, as it says right here, permutation and combination. And before we get going and before I completely forget it, if you have not been watching these videos in the proper series and if you need to practice, if you need to get some more practice on the concept of permutations and combinations, which a lot of people do, a lot of people have trouble with it, there are 10 videos altogether, 10 lessons altogether in this series, the series beginning with day 3001, the third edition begins with day 3001 and you will find 10 videos from day number 96 through 100, day 3096 through 100, there were five, five, first five videos we did on permutations and combinations and then we did five more starting from day number 116 and ending with day number 120, day 3116 and day three, all the way to day 3120. Let's look at the problem. It says a reading list, a uh, reading list consists consists of 10 books. We have a reading list consisting of uh, 10 books. Four books are biographies and six books are novels. Four books are dealing with some biographies. I was going to say biology. It really doesn't matter whether it's biography or biology and six are novels. So in other words, you just enroll in a course the very first day of the class. You go to the class and teacher gives a syllabus and on the syllabus there are ten books listed. Six of them are novels and four of them are about biology. And the teacher tells you that out of these ten books that you see on the syllabus you must read, you must read, you must read four. Okay, don't make it complicated. It's not at least four. It's just four books. You have to read four books. That's it. Here's the next condition. The teacher tells you that you must, you must read, you must read at least two books dealing with biography or biology, whatever you like. The question simply is, the question simply is, how many selections of four books satisfy the requirements of the course. The requirements of the course being that I have to read four books out of these ten books and at least two of them has to be something dealing with biographies. Let's find out, shall we? Let's find out. Let's do it on the top. We need the room. Let's do it. Let's do it. We can erase this all of the thing. So, what are the possibilities? Well, actually, there are three possibilities. I have to read four books. That's that's not a matter of negotiation. We have to read four books. So, what is what is up to us? What is in our under our control? In a matter of our choice, is that at least two of them have to be dealing with biography. So, if you if you don't like biographies, if you don't like biographies. In which case you will just read two novels and two biography. If you don't, if you actually like biography, maybe, maybe or, or maybe not, but you like biography better than novels, but not that much, then maybe you can read three biography and one novel. Or if you like the biography a lot, you might decide to read all four of them, all four of them dealing with biography and none of the novels. There are one, none of the books that are novels. All you have to figure out now is what are the possible selections? How many possible selections? Let's do it together, shall we? 
Let's do it together. First thing first. First thing first. First, very first question we need to answer here is, is it, are we dealing with, are we dealing with permutation or are we dealing with combination? Obviously the problem itself is not going to say it out loud. Oh, watch out guys, this is combination. Oh, watch out, this is permutation. They're not going to say that. We have to understand from the nature of the problem, what is it that we're dealing with? Does the order matter? If I'm going to read two books, if I have, if I have two books, if the teacher tells me to read two books, book A and book B, teacher tells me to go ahead and read these two books, does it matter whether I read A first and then B, or if I read B first and then A? The answer of course is no. Order does not matter. Here, here, order does not matter. If the order does not matter, what are we dealing with? We're not dealing with permutation, obviously. We're dealing with combination. We're dealing with combination. Let's begin our story, shall we? Let's begin our story. Pay attention to what, what happens. And again, oh, I already talked about it. I, I thought I did not. As we start doing it, I'm not going to explain every nitty-gritty excruciating detail of the detail uh, of the concept of co combination because that is exactly what we did in these ten problems. So if you have, if I, if there is anything here that you think that I did it cursorily, that would that would that would be an indication that you have not mastered these concepts yet from these ten three, these ten videos. We'll come to that word in a second. Let's begin, shall we? So if, I, if you feel that I'm going to, I, I did something cursorily, then that's your cue to go and watch the videos, those 10 videos. So let's begin. There are two, there are, there are two books I'm going to pick dealing with the concept of biography. And keep in mind that we were told that we have four books, four books dealing with biographies and six books dealing with novels. Altogether 10 books. If I'm going to pick two books out of these four, how many different ways can I pick my first book? The answer, of course, is four ways, because there are four, four books. I can pick any one of them. How many different ways can I book a second book? Obviously, the three ways. But because this is not permutation, this is combination, as soon as we pick the second book, we'll begin to repeat, just like I showed you before, AB and BA. Those are permutations. In permutation, the repetition is allowed. AB and BA are two different permutations. But as soon as we begin to repeat, we have to undo it, because the order doesn't matter here. How do we undo it? Well, just take half as many. Just take half as many. Do you understand? That part is done. Let's, that part is done. That part is done. Let's keep it in. Let's keep it in abeyance. Let's keep it in abeyance. Let's look at this part now. We need the room, so I'm going to erase all of this. How many novels do we have? We have six novels. How many different ways can we pick up? First novel? How many different ways can we pick a first novel? Six ways, because there are six of them. How many different ways can we pick a second novel? Five ways. As soon as we pick a second novel, we'll begin to repeat, and the repetition is not allowed. Every, we'll begin to double count. We have to undo the double counting. How do we undo the double counting? We'll just take half as many, divide by two. So that's the second part. How much is this? This is 12 divided by 2 is, is 6. This is 6. And how much is this? It's going to go with 3, it's 15. The question, question is, what do we do with the 6 and 15? Do we add them? Do we add them or do we multiply them? Again, instead of memorizing it, let's understand it. Instead of memorizing it, let's understand it with something simple. Okay, watch, watch this. Let's, let's pretend that we have, let's pretend that we have 3 biology and 3 novels. Let's call them, let's call them a, B, C, small a, B, C, and then P, Q, R. How many different ways can I pick a biology book? Three ways. How many different ways can I pick the novel? Three ways. So how many total different ways can I have my two books that I want, that I want to pick out of these six? Is it, is it three plus three? Or is it three times three? And the answer, of course, is three times three. Why is it three times three? Because if I pick if I pick A out of these three books dealing with biology, if I pick A, I have three different ways how I can combine it with the other books. PQR. And similarly, if you were to pick B as the biology from, from, from the first set, again you have three different choices to go with it. And similarly, the last one. 
Similarly, the last one, C, would be same thing. So it's 3 times 3. How many choices do we have here? 6 times 15. 6 times 15. This is how many different ways we could choose 2 and 2. 2 biology, 2 novels. That part is done. Let's move on to this part. That part is done. Let's move on to this part right here. We're going to pick 3 books now. How many, and out of biology. Remember biology? Biology, biography, it really doesn't matter. There are 4 of them. How many different ways can I pick my first book? Four ways. How many different ways can we pick a second book? Three ways, just like before. And because we are picking a second book, we'll begin to repeat things. We need to undo it. We have to undo the double counting. How do we do it? By dividing by two. Now let's pick a third book. How many different ways can we pick a third book? Well, you pick one book, you pick the second book. There are only four books, which, is, which means there are only two books left. But as soon as we pick a third book, we'll begin to triple count. How do we undo the triple counting? divide by 3. This part that we did there is the very crux, the very nub of the, of the concept of combination. It is the very essence, the very nub, the very crux of the concept of combination. And if you had trouble with, if you just had trouble with what we just did here, this part right here, then I would like you to watch day number 119. Right there. The very last video, the penultimate video, 119, 3120 was the last video that we covered. The very last, very last video was 120, 319, the penultimate video. The penultimate video. Do you understand? So that part is done. So that was, that part was dealing with biology. Now we're going to pick one novel. How many different ways can we pick one novel? Well, how many novels do we have? How many novels do we have? We have six novels, which means I can pick six different ways, my novel. So it is going to be now, whatever this quantity is in this parenthesis, whatever that is, we'll figure out in a second, times six. That part is done. Let's move on to the third one. Let's move on to the third one. How many, different, how many different ways can I pick four biography books out of four biography books? That's a silly question. If I have four objects, how many different ways can I pick those all four objects? There's only one way, which is to pick all of them. There's only one way. And how many different ways can I pick no book? This is just silly. There's only one way, which is don't pick any. So that part really pl plays no role until the very end. Until the very end we'll see it, okay? Until the very end. But it is only, there is only one way to achieve this goal which is you want to read four books and all four of them have to be biographies and because there are only four biography books just read all of them. That's it. There's only one way to achieve that one. Let's find out what this is. Okay, watch. Here we have two and here we have two. They're going to cancel out. I don't know why I need to do such simple things in different colors but that's just the way it is. And then we have three and a three. So essentially this is 4 times 6, 4 times 6, which is 24, 4 times 6 is 24. We haven't figured this out yet, we'll do it in a second, and that's just 1 times 1, which is 1. Let's find out what this is. 6 times 15, 6 times, 6 times 10 is 60, and 6 times 30, so it's 90. So it's 90, the final answer is, final answer is 90 plus 24 plus 1. Are you with me so far? 24 plus 1 is 25. 24 plus 1 is 25. And 25 plus 100 would have been 125. We don't have 100, we have 90. So it's going to be 115. There are 115 different ways I could have made my selection and still satisfy what the course requires, which is out of these 10 books that, that, that we have on the reading list, four biology, six novels, I am to pick two, I am to pick uh, four books to read, and at least two of them have to be dealing with biography or biology, whatever you like. There are 100, 115 different ways. So if the class had 115 students, if the class happens to have exactly 115 students, then it is conceivable, it is not beyond the realms of possibilities, that each one of those 115 students 
had a unique selection of book to read. Do you understand? We're done with the problem. That's it. The very last thing I want to do is I have these words that kept kept cropping up in the in the in the in the lecture. Let's learn these words. It's important that you work on your vocabulary as well as I have told you over and over again. I know you are here, so you are working on math. That I do know. But you mustn't ignore the second half of the exam, which is the verbal part, where vocabulary plays the crucial role. And on my channel, you will find videos that will help you improve your vocabularies, get you familiarized with the words that appear over and over again in a GRE, the most frequently appearing words. Here's what you're going to do: just type in, just type in, just type in GRE vocabulary words, GRE vocabulary words, and I'm just going to quickly give you the days. I'm not going to write down the word day. Let me find a cap, cap here. So just search for GRE vocabulary words, the word penultimate, number 11. Just type in GRE vocabulary words, GRE vocabulary words, day 11, and learn that word. It's just a fancy way of saying uh, second to the last. Then we have the word abeyance very quickly. What does abeyance mean? To put something in abeyance, to put something in a band simply means put it aside, let's not deal with it right now, leave it alone, we'll come back to it later. What does it mean? It means keep it aside, don't deal with it right now, don't worry about it right now, we'll come back to it later. Later, We'll come back to it later. Do you understand? Which is what we did here. Once we figured it out, we didn't figure out the actual number until the very end because I said let's leave it in a band, we'll do it at the end. And that's something we learned on day number nine. The next word was cursory. Cursory. What does it mean? Cursory. Cursory means haste. Cursory means haste, doing something in a hurry. I'm looking at my notes here as to which day we covered it. Day number 22. Except when I said the word, we use it as an adverb. So here it is. Watch what happens. Cursory is an adjective. C U R S O R I L Y. When we switch it to I L Y, it becomes an adverb. And what I said was, when we were going through this thing, what I said is that in the process of my explanation, if you find that I did something cursorily, if you feel that I did something cursorily, hastily, cursorily, that's how we say it, cursorily, you have to say it slowly. If you feel that it was done cursorily, some concept, watch the videos and learn it properly because this is all repetition. And finally, we had nub, N-U-B, nub. Nub is, means essence, the gist, the core. Do you understand? The core, the nub, the essence of something. Day number 11. Apparently, this, this word and this word were covered on the same day. And what we said is that this portion that we did, this is, this is where people have trouble. This part that we did there, which I told you, you must watch day number this concept only, this right here, watch day number, one nineteen, three thousand, what, three thousand, one hundred and nineteen, three thousand, one hundred and nineteen. Because this, this portion is actually the nub of the entire theory of combination, the crust, the gist, the essence, the soul the main idea, the focus of the concept of combination. Not permutation, combination. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.